Hey y'all, as promised, here's my nail art board. What I did is I took a regular frame um, designed for photographs and I removed the mat matting and um, I put netting on the back of the board so that I was able to stick in my designs. Like for example, here I, can, I just stuck in the design. And the women can like, um, let's see if I can do this can like take the, the the nail design and put it over their fingers it really is upside down but um, that was my thought so they could see the different colors up against their skin and it would be easy for them to bring that particular design over to me so I first started out trying to group it according to colors and as you can see this was supposed to be my weddings um, wedding nail art I ended up changing and uh, kind of grouped it according to designs like those are all my zebra prints then I have um, various blingy abstract designs um, some different flowers some double dips some just regularly painted on um, and then uh, I'm gonna make this section over here be for my animal print let's see if I can get over there but as you can see I still have quite a few squares that are empty oh let me show you the blue ones I love blue and um, purple and those are basically these are designs that I did for myself and um, just decided to make a tip and uh, these large this large square I plan to uh, leave for face painting nails that have a uh, character uh, blah, 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 blah. let me start all over again um, I'm gonna use this square for nail art inspired by Robin Moses as well as this square inspired by love for uh, nails I have a couple of her designs already in here and then also uh, Robin Moses here and then these are just some of the spring art that I thought you know colors um, then, uh, what's that? Just a balloons. Um, this is going to be my animal print square. Then I had like black flowers. And some greens. I used those studs that I recently purchased. These are just other little designs. So, that's as far as I've gotten um, to at this point. This was my attempt at a, a water marble without using the water. So, those came out pretty good, too. And then, of course, you know, I like, love the bling, so uh, that one I like, the black. But anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoy today. He lives. I uh, am so grateful that his awesome resurrected power lives in me. And I'm calling those things as though they are, those things that are not as though they are. And preparing myself to be able to work in a salon. As I mentioned earlier, I am pedigreed, so I do have my license to do nails as a manicurist. We'll just have to see if we can get this anxiety to disappear or at least cooperate while I do my passion. All right, enjoy the rest of the evening. Bye.